Our contestant for this round first started out his business as a hobby, but has expanded his Sabun Ajaib soap enterprise from a small store to a Sindarin Berhad. Hello, I'm Goh Chin Hu, popularly known as Alan Goh, director of CHT Manufacturing Sindarin Berhad. I'm the founder of the famous green soap in Northern Region, better known as Bamboo Vinimin Hand Mixed Soap, aka Sabun Ajaib. I started making my own soap since I suffered eczema and skin disease. Uh, that's as a skin. I blend the soap for my own use and distribute to my family and friends. With their encouragement, I set up a mini store in wet market. To now, a private limited company with my soap available in Easy Farmax, selected pharmacies, and mini market nationwide. And if I did make it to the final, I will teach viewers how to make soap on national TV. Remember, this face good soap. Will Sabun Ajay prove to be profitable and clean up off the shelves? Let's see if he makes himself clean and clear to the judges right after the break. Initially fulfilling his own needs and solution for sensitive skin, Goh Chin Hu from Penang hopes to clarify any business-related queries with a fresh and clean outlook. I'm waiting for my turn. Very nervous. I don't know what the judge will ask me. Hopefully all the best. Yeah, I prepared for two weeks already. Hopefully everything will go as smooth as I hope. I don't know. Hopefully it's 100%. 100%. 500,000, wait for me. I'm from CHT Manufacturing, Sandiam Berhad. I'm the founder of the famous handmade soap in Northern Region, known as uh, Bamboo Vinimin Handmade Soap, aka Sabun Ajay. Okay. The, I'm, the purpose I'm here is to promote my soap to you, so I can get investors to invest in my company to make it expand or to home Malaysia and hopefully globally. Okay. <coughs> Okay, from uh, this soap uh, is suitable for face, hair, and body. The purpose I'm here is to uh, to promote my soap. So we we'll see how uh, I can expand my uh, business further. Instead of uh, being Taiko in the uh, northern region, I want to go global. Okay, and uh, my next step uh, is to put inside my soap to hypermarket. Where do you put your face on the packaging? Eh? Okay, <laughs> last uh, when I first make this soap. Uh, nobody follows. But after a while, uh, they come out a competitor. Uh, they said uh, the green soap is the same as the, the fatty guy one. So people, uh, they will say, oh, it's the same one, the cheaper one. So my last resort is to put my face on the soap. Okay. How much are you selling the soap for? The, currently, the 100 oh. gram one, I'm selling 1690 in pharmacies. Okay, uh, nationwide. Lah. In pharmacies nationwide. And then I have 10 ringgit one for mini market, that is 60 gram. How did you uh, how did you get into making this soap? I uh, mean, a, a why lot of people, this particular uh, formulation? Did you do some R and D, or is it some traditional uh, recipe? It, it all started as my my hobby. If I'm in uh, mechanical engineering, it's not related into soap making. Okay, because I have, I myself have a uh, sensitive skin, sensitive skin, uh, so eczema. So a lot of uh, over the counter, the product I cannot use. So uh, it started as a hobby also. La. So I just uh, blend some soap, then I try, try to use it. I buy a lot of books to read, I go to internet to check. Then after I blend it, I try it, then it's, it's, it's good. My same skin is no more, it's cured. So I just make some soap to give my friends and they, rec uh, they recommend me to, okay, you can set up one store in the, mini uh, in the wet market. So I start from there. La. How many pieces do you sell a year now? Uh, normally I track by monthly. La. It's around uh, four five thousand pieces the, the uh, a month. per month per month. So the formula for this soap is actually um, my own. Your own. Yeah, my through own. trial and error. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm also lucky la. One time already hit the jackpot. How do you know that there are no side effects to using this soap? 
because uh, uh, the, my supplier uh, is from the UK one, so they recommend me. So they have the like COA, uh, like all the, all the uh, thing that they say, oh, this is whether it's good for this one or that one, that one. That's I uh, just blend it, uh. blend it, blend, come out this soap. But who is your market segment? Uh, this is a good, very good question. Uh. Everybody also can use. Yeah, but sure, I have sure, don't yeah. have any Surely. specific. So I, I don't I don't have any specific that I or I need to see. Uh, I want to conquer this age group okay. or this age group. Let me ask you, what's your typical customer profile? The the people who buy your soap, you know, what are they like? If you had to describe them, you know. Uh, firstly, they like the smell first, lah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, right. I, like I, I just give the free soap, okay, yeah. for the the mask, the for free gift first. Then after they use it, they go they go to the web uh, the my website or my blog spot. Then after that, they buy from the pharmacy. So no specific age group, lah. Really. Uh. Is this your only um, this the only aroma that's coming out, or have you got more? I have a lot of uh, I I can make I can make OEM also. I have a lot of uh, soap I can make, but this one is selling very very good. People like the smell. So all these soaps are handmade, no handmade. automation. Ah uh, no no automation. You can see the when they do profiling shot ah uh, the in the video there is all natural all handmade. So it cannot be automated. Cannot. Temporary, yeah, uh, cannot. So you can't do the volume. I now I can do is uh, one shift uh, is uh, nine uh, nine hundred over. Let's say one k uh, one thousand pieces per shift, eight hours. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, where do you see your product going from here? Whether or not you make it to the next round, you, I'm sure you definitely got some valuable information from all of our judges. So. What are your next steps? If I didn't make it to the finals, also no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I have a backup plan. And what's that? I I will I already joined Madrid. I probably go export. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is you want to explore the international market. Mm -hmm. So what's one of the key pieces of advice that you will remember from this session here? If you could just choose the one. <laughs> <laughs> I think probably all were very valuable. Yeah, I think. Okay, thank you very much. Thank all you. the best to you. Thank you.